Hey, what's up everybody? Blake here at Toy Tech with another Tech Tip Tuesday. Uh, today we're in the shop working on this 5th Gen 4Runner installing a lift. Um, and we're going to show you how to put your KDSS sway bar back up into place. Um, so, we have dropped the sway bar from the hydraulic arm and this fixed arm uh, to get our lower control arms to droop far enough to get the coilovers in. So now we need to get it back up into place. Um, it's pretty much impossible to do it by hand unless you are super strong and I am not. So I am gonna use my trusty screw jack here to get this thing up into place. So position your screw jack. Uh, you can use a floor jack as well with the wheels on the ground. Grab your clamp and go ahead and install it with the hardware on the hydraulic arm. And when you're bolting these, uh, this clamp into place, Go back and forth to the bolts. Don't don't run one up because um, it'll it'll interfere with the other side. So screw them up in place. And then start jacking the sway bar back up into place. So as we get closer to going up into our fixed arm, you'll notice that the sway bar is off and this arm is pretty tough to move. Um, so what I like to do is grab a screwdriver or a long punch or anything that you can stick in this hole and force that arm backward. So what we do, stick this up in there, push that arm back and then continue to move the sway bar up into place. All right, so now that you have that positioned, um, grab your clamps and hardware, clamp that back, uh, torque these bolts to factory spec, and then we'll move on to the rear. So we're in the rear now. Um, the rear sway bar has to be dropped as well to get the rear coils in. Um, to get it back up into place is pretty much the same as the front, but you'll want to do this with the wheels on the ground, um, and this is why. This uh, fixed mount right here will get sandwiched up against the pan hard bar while you're trying to jack this up into place and you can't get um, the passenger side lined up and the passenger side clamp on so do the side on the ground with the floor jack or whatever jack you have um, install the clamps tighten the bolts to factory spec and that is all 